I'm here with uh, Jose Vigil, that we know each other uh, four years ago, mm -hmm. five years ago, yeah, maybe more. Let's say, say I made the first guitar for you back in 2014, maybe. Maybe, okay. maybe something yeah. like that. And uh, well, he's uh, living and working in Granada. Correct. Since uh, when you you start your been here for twelve years now. Twelve years. Twelve years. Okay. And uh, we are here with a guitar, eight strings, kind of a special guitar that he made already three for me, right? I think this, this is the third, third one. This yeah. is the third, yeah. and it's a little bit special. Maybe you can talk a little bit about this guitar. What is the the special thing, maybe for the making, or I don't know, something to talk about, and also maybe your way to approach the guitar, your way to make uh, guitars. Hmm. Yeah. Well, this. Yeah, as you said, this is the third eight string I've done, and yeah, it's quite a change. Apart from, you know, gotta do different templates for the head, for the bridge, for the fingerboard, of course. Also, a bit for the bracing, it's a bit stiffer than usual, but not uh -huh. too much. Mm -hmm. But especially lengthwise, and um, all the rest is exactly as my regular guitar: the plantilla and the width of the of the box, mm -hmm. and the size of the bridge itself, except for the block, which has to be a bit bigger. All the rest is the same. Probably it's a bit special because I've been doing some uh, changes mainly to the way I choose the material for the top. Mm -hmm. I've been working on probably 60 tops for this, okay. joining, thicknessing, studying all sort of measures you can take from the material. And I've been concentrating and focusing a lot on choosing top material. And I can see that this Five guitars I've done at the same time, they all have a... Mm -hmm. uh, they're improved. I think it worked Okay. for, for, uh, for a big part of the, of the job. Talking about the sound of the mm. guitar, what, what it changed? Is it, it has something well, to... You, well, you just tried it. Yeah. Probably. For me, it has like more resonance, more yeah. harmonics yeah, in definitely. all the notes, definitely. all the register. And also for the playability, I think it's very easy to... To change from the sixth string to the eighth string, you don't. Mm. Maybe you need some time, but for me, I was playing this guitar um, in a few hours. I could mm. start to play it normal, like uh, with the six strings, and during days, maybe five, six days, I didn't have any problem to switch between the six and the eighth string. It takes a little bit of time, mm. but not so much. Like uh, I remember, I had one ten string guitar, and it was. <laughs> Quite yeah. difficult to play, and you get lost. But with this one, it's, it, it is fine. Yeah, I yeah. can play it as long as I forget about the seven, seventh, and eighth. Mm -hmm. As long as I don't, don't use them, I can play it like a regular guitar. Mm -hmm. Problems would come if I have to use all of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and another thing I, I saw very interesting is that uh, for composition, mm -hmm. if you are into composition and playing. The the seven and eight string gives you much more possibilities yeah. for for chords for harmony, and something to say the seven and the eight the tuning the normal mm -hmm. tuning is D and C yeah D That's and C apparently but you can change common, yeah. whatever you want no? I, I mean, think yeah of course you can you can find whatever is more useful for you I'm doing D uh, yeah D and C mainly because Hanabach is the uh, supplier for the strings and he apparently they sell a standard uh, set for a string that has a D and a C so okay. that's a more common combination and of course you can choose whatever is more useful for you mm -hmm. but 
you got to keep in mind that if you're going to apply more tension to the string, probably it's a better idea to look for a different string. So okay. you can put too much pressure okay. on the top that already has quite a lot with two extra okay. strings on it. And another thing important for this guitar is that you can arrange all the baroque period on yeah. lute with it much more easier. Yeah. And you can you don't need to change the octaves and so it's a it's a very interesting for me it's very interesting. It for is. me more much more interesting than the ten string guitar. Yeah, you can you use start to think about playing a 10 string guitar. Yeah, <laughs> okay, enough with six. Yeah, yeah more than enough probably. <laughs> <laughs> more than enough. Definitely. So what about the, your way of making your approach? Um, what do you think about being very traditional or incorporate mm -hmm. new things? And yeah. What is the, what you, well, your approach? Well, I learn here in Granada and the approach here is totally traditional. Mm -hmm. Actually, they neglect the use of double tops, composite, mm. or sandwich tops. Mm. I am not so close to it. I think it's it probably is still developing, and there's still a few few makers that are able to make a a great guitar. But I I don't discard the use of it. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. think it's it needs evolving and eventually mm -hmm. studying it. Mm. I, I never try. I don't even know the technology involved. So I and you are interested for maybe in the future to I try. I, I just when I hear the, my colleagues here in Granada, they say there's no future for it. Okay. It just doesn't work. Double tops are some kind of mo monsters that are mm. uh, trying to pervert the classical guitar world. Okay. I don't have that view. For me. Um, probably it's just another technology and it's going to work and it, it is definitely working for some makers mm. that know how to use it mm. so yeah but for, for now um, they, they don't like the people don't like it's because of the sound mainly no the sound is very different very kind of synthetic um, for some yeah, people yeah I'm, I, I don't have any problem it's more or less the same with traditional guitar you can get a super loud traditional guitar that sounds like a banjo mm. or you can get a beautiful sounding guitar that is not loud enough mm. it, probably when you switch to the double top world you have more of the super loud guitars that sound like a banjo probably mm. Mm. but there, it's a matter of controlling the different mm. aspects of what is involved and great makers can make a great guitar probably yeah. with any mm -hmm. kind of technology mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so what what do you think is the main feature I don't know. Maybe you you don't want to talk about your own guitars, know, I, but uh, what um, do what what do you search for, or what would you you expect to get from from your making, and or what you discover also during all these years that you are making guitar that uh, kept your attention. Well, first of all, the, the voice of the guitar has to be beautiful. It has to sing with a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. Second, you need a minimum amount of volume out of it mm -hmm. and you need balance as well mm -hmm. so yeah for me those are the three main components that make a player try a guitar and say I want this guitar I want to mm -hmm. play with this it mm -hmm. allows me to express my music it allows me to to talk with it or to sing with it mm -hmm. mm. the approach I don't know I have I've been looking for it ever since I started and uh, I keep looking and I keep trying the main thing is not to change too many things at once mm -hmm. is to try to keep control of the infinite mm, variables involved and try to keep them all controlled and then maybe change a little bit of something for a batch of guitars and try to see how it works mm -hmm. and also take note try to record every single aspect of the tops I'm using. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about making several guitars at once, either four or five, is that I can try to use this exactly the same for all. Of course it's never the same because it's an organic material, so there's always variations, but try to find very similar tops, but write down all the differences. Mm -hmm. And I make the guitars at the same time, at the same humidity level, uh, with the same bracing material, mm -hmm. And then when I have the five of them completed, try to look for differences in the sound. And then I go to the differences I wrote down in the tops and try to identify 
why the best one what works what, what doesn't yeah. work so yeah, much then, then I, I choose the best one of the batch and then I go for it and try to see what was different from the others mm -hmm. and work from them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for the next batch start from that mm -hmm. point and, and so on mm -hmm. the problem with that is you need a lot of tops to be able to find at least five that are very similar because they're all different as you see it got tops mm -hmm. there here tops there this is mm -hmm. a whole mm -hmm. block of them yeah uh, and it takes a lot of work just to get here by hand without using machines mm -hmm. for thickness in and for all that. It takes a lot of work and then, yeah, many of them you probably I will never use. There's more okay. upstairs that okay. I probably yeah, yeah, yeah. will never use because they go too far away from, okay. from where, where I want to go. So to make clear about the way you work, mm -hmm. you made each time at the same time four, four, four or five, five guitars. Four or five guitars. And uh, this happened three, four times during the year? No, more like two times during the year. I make about 10 guitars a year. Ah, 10 and guitars a year. Sometimes I did 12, one time I did 14, something I don't want to do again. Uh, why not? Because <laughs> it's uh, too much work. Okay. And okay. Yeah, worst thing that can happen in this job is that you don't enjoy it anymore. Okay. If you're just thinking about finishing the guitar and getting the money, Okay. I don't think it works that way. Okay. <laughs> because okay. it needs focus, it needs concentration, and you actually need to enjoy what you're doing. Otherwise, you just focus in the long term. Okay. You just get tired of it. Okay. So yeah, 10, 12, that's, uh, that's uh, the, probably... That's the, the perfect number yeah, for you. Yeah. Of course, there's, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of tasks during the work that I could not do. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something that doesn't need to be done. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that all the inner uh, structure fits perfectly, and probably if you do it a bit less accurate, it would it would work anyway. But when you try that, mm -hmm. what guitar will you use to try things? I don't, I don't mm -hmm. feel like trying. Okay, okay. With the, yeah. And about specifically about the sound, mm -hmm. what kind of sound you like? A kind of sweet, a warm. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, if you were talking to about balance, it's very yeah. difficult to explain, yeah, of course. It's difficult to explain, especially for a maker, probably a, a guitar player is more qualified than I am. Yeah. But yeah, definitely I have to play the trebles and feel like they're singing, that they're mixing well with each other, mm -hmm. that they have a, enough sustain for being able to play mm -hmm. all the notes that you need in the song. So, yeah, full and warm, mm. as opposite to, let's say, sharp and bright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's my personal taste. And one, one of the main things that I, during this year that we were, the playability you get now mm. is kind of amazing for me. It's one of the easiest guitar for And actually, playing. this one is probably on the limit of the height of the strings. It's pretty okay. high, it's not too low. But I, what I've changed... Normally, with what kind of... Uh, I normally do 3.8, maybe 4 for the 6th, and 2.5, 2.8 for the 1st. Okay. These are pr on, the, on the top uh, mm. of the limit. Okay. What I did is I used to do the what here was the traditional method. It's basically a flat uh, fingerboard mm -hmm. with a bit of... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a bit lower on this side. Now what I'm doing now is I'm... So the, I'm, the, is, is something like, like that? Yeah, well what they explain here, how, how they do it here is they just do it flat and from the 12th on they, they, ah, okay. they just remove a bit okay. of material. What I've done is twist the fingerboard. If, if we have a, a surface like that, a yeah. plane, what I did was like that. Okay. Okay. Completely. So it falls a lot here. Actually, if you look from this side, you can so see the bone it, is. It goes like that. No. No. Yeah. From let's say this is this is level. Mm -hmm. This side will fall on the trebles. That side will fall on the bases. Okay. Okay. This is more or less normal. Falling here is not so usual. Okay. From the okay. guitars, I, I think something. Okay. But I've seen it in other guitars. It's not my invention mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think it works. It's more complicated to do. Mm -hmm. Because then you need to be sure that the fingerboard is straight, mm -hmm. so you don't have any high frets. Mm -hmm. But uh, you really need to um, measure it uh, parallel to the surface. If you do like that, mm -hmm. 
you will have a bump here in the middle. Okay. And it's kind of tricky, but I think it, it works very well. Okay. You sit, you don't really need to go lower to feel more comfortable when you're playing, mm -hmm. for some reason. Mm -hmm. Probably the way, if it's twisting here, it's more ergonomic to have your hand, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to go all the way up. Okay. Probably. Okay. I'm not sure, I, I saw mm -hmm. it in some other guitars, tried it and it seems to work. Okay. And uh, keeping talking about playability, can you explain a little bit? Because I, is, I found it extremely um, easy to play and, and perfect the neck, mm -hmm. the meshes that you put here, and the shape. Mm -hmm. And also, a little bit, I want to, to talk about the, the frets, mm -hmm. which uh, I learned from not so many years ago that it's important also the, the mm -hmm. highness, the shape mm -hmm. it has. So, what kind of Talking about the playability that you have is super. Maybe you can talk a little I bit. Don't. Well, about the the, 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 the shape. It's it's a bit more rounded than usual. It's, it used to be. Uh, uh, it used to do f a flatter neck. Yeah. So the yeah, and then I was well, I got recommended. Uh, it was um, Eddie Blechinger who told me when he came for the first time with David Collette uh, to my workshop that the, he suggested a particular shape more uh, C-like instead of a D. And okay. uh, mm -hmm. I, he, he showed me the way he, he liked it and it, I think it works pretty well. Of course it's a matter of taste. It, the player is also should be the one who decides what... what, what mm -hmm. But I never got uh, requests for going back to the old shape. So okay. This one yeah. seems yeah. to seems and to work. And then about the frets. Also, it's a bit thicker using. than 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 usual. Uh, and uh, the frets are uh, regular um, width. Only they're the highest tallest. The high is tallest. The tallest fret I have that is mm. on the market for classical guitar. Mm. Also, I've done a couple of times. I think one of your guitars uh, mm. jumbo frets, like super wide frets. Okay. And uh, they they work they work very well, but they just seem a bit weird on the guitar and many players don't feel um, like having that and I understand because mm -hmm. it's a different look mm -hmm. but yeah height I don't know flamen I think flamenco I, I don't make flamenco almost no flamenco guitars but mm -hmm. um, you made one for me I made one for yeah. you and I'll be making two okay year, okay two more okay uh, but um, I think they say they prefer um, uh, lower frets. Yeah, because of the I don't know. slurs. I don't know. Because you use a lot of slurs and okay. it's easier. It's I think it doesn't more. work for flamenco, this okay. thick and tall, but okay. it works very, very good for classical guitars okay. uh, that they don't have so much uh, slurs. Oh, and also I use the, the hardest material you can find. Okay. And, well, okay. it, it's not a stainless steel. You can actually use a stainless steel, but uh, it uh, then you have problems with the tools and so on. Okay. But it's the regular nickel silver that you find, but just the, the hardest one. The hardest. You can get in the market. Okay. So it, uh, I think it helps probably with the tone. It, that's a, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I never asked you, but how old are you? Oh, <laughs> if, I, if, you, I if it's possible to uh, say. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have just turned forty. 40. So it's kind of uh, young, but you are already <laughs> youngish. <laughs> I think you are already a big name in, in the guitar wow. world with uh, guitars all over the world. Wow. And with a lot of, uh, for me, is <laughs> I really love your work. You. And, and the sound and the playability is amazing for me. Thank you. But um, what, what kind of thing um, a guitar maker, which is, uh, I think, is young like you? What kind of thing you you expect for the next year? Oh. I mean, well, just being able to make the guitars I have on 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 my list. <laughs> okay, that's enough. And and really, I don't think about the long term. Some no. people ask me, do you picture yourself in twenty years making guitar? I, yeah, yeah. I don't even have that score. But if you are twenty years making guitar, do you have something that you are in your mind to to search to 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 get from that uh, from this uh, profession and? I don't know, it's such a struggle just to keep up with the work. It's mm -hmm. uh, just getting a guitar to be right 
in uh, or at least in all the aspects that you want to achieve that's hard enough mm. to, th to think about the future I mean okay. you're always looking for what works mm. and you want to take that and try to go on from there I don't make a big plan long term and try to think about a crazy project or a totally different thing I'm just okay. working on what I have and try to improve it and that's mm. hard enough it's okay it's uh, do you think it's a profession that you keep for the whole yeah, life? Definitely. As it is now. As it is now. I mean, mm -hmm. probably, I, I don't know about the violin world. Because but you, for example, know quite well uh, Marie Montero, yeah. which is, uh, I don't know, 200 meters or yeah. 100 meters from right. here. Around the corner. Right in the corner. And uh, even with uh, now, she's, uh, he's uh, 87 or 86. He'll be 87 next week. Yeah. You think he's keeping the same kind of, oh, I'm going to try yeah. this, I'm going, I don't know. I think he does, I think he does. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably you, you, if you want to make guitars and make good guitars, you, that's in you. It has to be. Mm -hmm. If you have to struggle, if you have to fight against all these sort of uh, things that arise during guitar making, you really need to like it, and if you like it, you want to do it better all the time. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have quit. If I had to do it for just this, any other job, that's, that's too much. Okay. If you want to do it right, I mean, mm. and if you want to do it right, you keep trying different things, and you keep, mm. you, want to, you want to find out how it works. Okay. okay. And they're, they're not easy materials, they change too much. Okay. The top, yeah, yeah, every top is different. Okay. That's what's so attracting in a way in sandwich tops. Mm -hmm. Because then you get rid at least of part of the organic material. Mm -hmm. And you get a synthetic one that at least in theory works the same every time. Mm -hmm. That would make such a big difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's probably everything on the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On, if you do everything else uh, correctly, mm -hmm. but everything is in the top, in the material you choose for the top. Mm -hmm. If you can get rid of all the changing mm -hmm. grains and the tree that was in the shadow or mm -hmm. all that, yeah. if you can get rid of that and use a synthetic material, it makes it all okay. very easy. Well, <laughs> I'm simplifying a lot, okay. Okay. but I could imagine it could be a great advantage. Okay, so thank you very much for your time.